Just one game before the Big Ten title is to be decided. Will Ohio State overlook Illinois in favor of the game next week? In Ann Arbor. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz. Glad to be with you on the Toyota College Football Preview. It's 7-3 and three, Illinois coming to the horseshoe to take on number one Ohio State. And no matter what happens in this game or in the one in Madison with Michigan and Wisconsin, the winner of OSU and U of M next week will win the Big Ten. But for Ohio State, obviously, much bigger aspirations. And for more on the game, we bring in Spencer Tillman from Houston, as we do every week. And Spencer, you've been in situations where you have a look past game, but Illinois is not a team to gloss over. They're going to head to a bowl game for the first time since 2001. That was also the last time they beat Ohio State, which happened to be in Columbus. But history of Jim Trussell, Jim Trussell says his team never really overlooks anybody. Well, they're coached well, and you don't expect them to. They're a solid team, and it's a team that's founded on defense first, and those types of teams tend not to look past opponents, uh, mainly because of the way you play defense. It takes far more energy to play defense than it does uh, offense. And so if your defense is your image and who you're all about, and they're solid, you can expect a team that will not look past an opponent. And let's face it, this Illinois team, it doesn't matter who they get their wins against, they're loaded from the talent standpoint. So, again, I don't care if they're playing a Division Three team. If they get a win and they blow somebody out like they did last week, they're going to come into this contest with a lot of confidence, as well as they should. They played them 17-10 last year, and uh, Ohio State needed everything to come away with the win. And that was a 17-10 game on an Illinois team that was 2-10. and Let's talk about that explosive right. offense of Illinois, because you've got a quarterback – that can make plays, and you've got a wide receiver that may be one of the most dynamic in all of college football, and a running back who leads the Big Ten in rushing yards, and they can score from anywhere on the field. Well, it begins with Juice Williams at quarterback, that's for sure. But then Rashard Mendenhall is an outstanding runner. Quietly, he's amassed over 1,300 yards rushing as a junior. And he's going to break the all-time rushing mark if he continues at the clip that he's going right now. And so when you get him on the ground going, you've got a number. You've got three receivers you can get the ball to as well. By formation, you're going to spread them out. And even if Ohio State's got a solid defense, they're going to be stretched to the limit a little bit because of the formation and the skill set of those players. So absolutely, this Illinois team is loaded from the talent standpoint. Well, let me ask you this, though, Spence, because when they played Purdue, a team that also spreads you out, doesn't really have mm -hmm. the weapons uh, that, uh, that Illinois has, but they have the same mm -hmm. scheme. Ohio State held that team to seven points defensively. Can Illinois really score on this defense? Well, they, they can, and you just made the distinction there, uh, the skill set of those players. Purdue historically has had great receivers and good quarterback play, but I would say for this year, Illinois trumps them in both departments uh, in terms of what they do. Now, maybe not Juice Williams as a pure passer over what uh, Joe Tiller has there at Purdue, but right now, I think that this Illinois offense is more potent than any offense, in my opinion right now, including Ohio State's in the Big Ten. All right, well, let's not forget this Ohio State defense is the yeah. best so far this year in the Big Ten, but they will get tested the most in the last two games. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned the offense. It has gone the last three weeks as Chris Wells has. He has improved each yeah. and every week, uh, averaging over 175 yards a game the last three. And Illinois' defense is, is, is much improved, but not that great. Well, it's not. But again, when you get uh, Beanie Wells going on the ground, you get great quarterback play, Rabiscuit, wide receiver, you get, uh, you get balance on offense. And again, that's really all you need. Again, you have to look at the integrated approach to the game that Jim Tressel takes. He doesn't expect a whole lot from the offense. He wants to play small ball, play def defense. He likes to win 7 to 14 games, 14-17, uh, 7 to 9, baseball type score games. So he's not looking for a whole lot. It's a bonus when he has uh, Beanie Wells rushing for over 150 yards a game. Uh, that's a bonus in, in this system. And Todd Beckman has certainly played phenomenally with the way that Chris Wells and Maurice Wells, for that matter, have been running the last th three weeks. But you talk about the offense, they've scored more than 35 in each of those last two games. All right, it is a game at the Horseshoe. Last year it was 17-10. The offenses are better this year. Who do you like? Who's your winner? Ohio State should win the game, but I'm going upset alert here. Again, another close game like it was last year. I'm thinking maybe a 24-17 type of affair. Uh, and, and again, Ohio State will probably score more than they have to, more than they would like to score to get away with the win, even at home. I'm picking Ohio State, but not by a lot. Spence, I, I disagree with you on this one. I like Ohio State to win, but I think it'll be by a lot because of what happened last week against Wisconsin when the Buckeyes trailed in the second half. But we'll see Saturday. We'll yep. watch it together, and then we'll discuss it here on CBSSports.com. We'll see you then. All right, sir. Folks, Illinois is 2-1 and one against ranked opponents this season. The lone loss came against Michigan, but the Illini have not beaten a top-ranked team since 1956. 11 straight losses. We'll see how it plays out when the Big Ten battle kicks off at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. For more on this game or any other, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. With Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. 
Take care.